Okay, Pete Gustus, Realtor here, 570-640-3535 in Lake Winona, looking at 188 Totem. This is a nice property here. Um, it is a foreclosure, so let's go check it out. All right, and here's a view. You'll notice that there is drainage. There's a culvert that goes to the driveway. The driveway is a dirt driveway and it actually goes around the property. This is a side, so um, gives you a good idea here what's going on. And checking out the yard here, you'll notice you have a nice side yard and you do have a view of the neighbors because the neighbor's house uh, backs up. So there's trees on the one side, then the neighbors, and you have a garage, which we'll check out since we're here. All right, going at the garage, you can notice it's not a concrete floor. It's locked, so hopefully I'll be able to get the key. Um, I didn't check the inside of the house yet, but it is a steel garage. So it looks like pole building construction, and it's gonna be gravel flooring. Um, so it is grown around the property, but I would expect the rest to be the same. So it's steel roof and it's not too bad. Definitely, I would remove that tree. You know, I might recommend removing all the trees around the property or around this. They're small. If you wait a bunch of years, it's just going to get really bad. Okay, and now looking at the house, you're going to notice that it is a wood exterior. Wood exteriors do have to be cared for. Um, so I would recommend restaining or painting. It does look like it has maybe a burnt finish, which sometimes lasts longer and is resistant. Um, but I'm not exactly sure when we're looking at it, if that's a burnt or if it's just weathered really bad. But you do have to recoat this. You could also vinyl side it, which would help quite a bit. I'm not seeing evidence right here of termites or anything. The deck also needs to be recoated. So if you're looking at the deck, um, there's one broken piece, not a big deal. All these arbovitas, they're all huge. They, well, you, they could be trimmed. You can see the tree overgrowth. So the property hasn't been taken care of in quite some time. The roof looks like it's brand new, so it looks nice. I'm gonna give you another view of the other side of the roof, but it looks pretty nice, it looks new. And it looks like the bank repaired part of the deck. Sometimes banks will do that if it comes to be a uh, safety or health issue. And it looks like they did a little bit of repair work. I'm not so sure about that. I would have that looked at. And of course the top part of the deck looks like it was done. So these doors, not in great shape. Probably it would be best to just remove them and put new sliding glass doors in. Vent pipe for stove. We'll see if there's a stove in there. Being a foreclosure, there probably isn't. Um, and here's the side of the yard. So this is the other side. Looks like they have a lot of trees planted to make it a little bit more private for the, for the neighbors here. But all this stuff needs to be cut back. Looks like they haven't had landscaping done in a long time. There's a vent pipe. Uh, more than likely it's for septic system and it looks like an oil tank for oil heat and I'm gonna look at the other side very quickly may not take a picture of the other side if there's nothing to see and let's continue okay here's the other side looks like the gutter needs to be repaired a little bit not a huge deal but you can see not exactly sure what caused that, but it looks like it's bent upwards. Um, there's a satellite dish on the property. Um, sometimes the satellite dish people don't install them properly, which can cause a roof leak. Um, so if we, there's not one now with this roof, makes sense to look up there if you have somebody and just double check it because I've seen it often. Uh, satellite dish people pop those up and then it might be, you know, same year, two or three years later, starts leaking very bad around the satellite dish. Um, 
they what happens is they don't seal them they just put screws in and then it causes a problem eventually it'll leak if you don't seal them where, where they're installing the dish and health and safety you can see the new deck there and this is the front does have a little fireplace looks like it's in really bad shape um, might be best to just rip this thing and get rid of it uh, it looks like it's in, in, in bad shape and here's another view of the property if there's a garage key I'll go back in there but for right now we're going inside um, broken broken heater vent that's not a problem a couple dollars to replace that okay walking into the property here you'll notice there is probably a dual washer dryer setup that was right here that's removed and then you have a little closet here and that walks into a bathroom this property is supposed to have two full bathrooms I had the fan on, makes a lot of noise, so it probably needs to be replaced, or you could have somebody look at it, but with the cost of these fans nowadays, better off just replacing it than trying to fix the fan. Um, this is a hardwood floor. It seems like it's in pretty great shape. Um, looks like there's electric heat in here with the thermostats. So the oil heat was just a supplemental. There's no central layer here. Um, doesn't mean you can't add it, just means it's not installed currently. This place needs a lot of cleaning and I'm still confused because um, the kitchen's not too bad, just very dirty. Maybe if it was clean it would be serviceable, but there's a brand new uh, refrigerator here. Water heater. chandelier so on this floor I don't really see any leaks um, the floor here looks like it needs to be cleaned it is hardwood but you could tell it got wet from something I don't see any ceiling leaks um, could be an old roof leak not sure but you can tell it got very wet um, and it is scraped up a little bit if you look at that right there uh, they probably had stools or chairs and this is you know might have been where they were dining despite having a dining area right there so you can frequently say they were moved forward and, and backwards you could have this refinished um, you could resurface it there might be water leaks around these that's why I recommend replacing them you can see there looks like water staining this could be repaired no uh, secondary heat source so that was removed that's oil right there doesn't mean you have to stick with oil and here's a coal stove, so this had three heat sources, and that condition will not be guaranteed on the coal stove, but it looks like it was being used. There's actually coals in it. Uh, side entrance, and let's go check out the upstairs. All right, you'll notice upstairs, the stairs seem like they're in great shape. Maybe they just need to be cleaned and painted. The drywall work could probably be cleaned up a little, um, it's not bad, it just whoever did the drywall work, you definitely don't want to count it for perfect or nice. It does look a little wavy. I don't know if that's going to pick up well, but you can see it right there easier in the corner. Um, it's not high quality drywall work. Or you know what? It looks like they, 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 they put a coat or a lot of paint, excuse me, over wood, wood paneling. That's why that's like that. They just painted wood paddling very heavily. Um, hardwood floors, right when you come up, go into two rooms and the light wasn't working in here, but the shower looks like it was redone. Tile, it actually looks really nice. Uh, vanity looks very nice. How you doing? Pete Gustus here, happy to help you. And, so definitely not terrible for a second bathroom. Um, you can see here, you know, new fixtures might be needed. And this walks into a smaller bedroom. This smaller bedroom is probably 10 by 12. It's not very big. So, um, you got a ceiling fan. They didn't put the light on top, of course. You'd probably hit your head. Um, 
uh, ceiling height in here might be seven and a half. I, I don't believe it's eight feet, especially if I can touch the ceiling. That's probably old water damage. Um, or it could be something like what I mentioned. You could have a flashing issue or um, we've had so much rain. If, it, if the roof was leaking, I think it would be worse. Brand new door for this side. You got a closet right here. Second bedroom, or I should say third, a little bit larger. I'm, I'm guessing this one is about a 12 by 12. And it's painted wood panels. Fixtures definitely uh, not nice. It doesn't work at all. This one has an old door. And I'm thinking that this is old too, but I can't really say. With all the rains we've had this summer, if if there was a, a current leak, this would probably be a lot worse. And the roof looks new. Um, but that doesn't mean you don't need inspection. Here's a view from the front of the house. Looks pretty nice. You actually have a pretty nice view from up here. And I do have the garage key. Uh, one thing I'm noticing is the deck for the back door, which most people be using as the main entrance because it's by the garage and where the parking is. It does need some repair work. So it seems pretty sturdy. I'm kind of hopping up and down on it, but it does have that wood rot right there. Um, and like the rest of the house could be restained or coated. You know, you're probably better off cleaning this place up and then redoing it in vinyl siding. That, that would make it pretty maintenance free. Um, you wouldn't have to worry about anything. Okay, this looks like a pile of cement or lime. I don't know why the, the bank didn't clean it up because they usually don't leave garbage, but this one seemed like they left quite a bit of stuff. Um, so there's a couple old toilet. This seems like it's not leaking. It seems like it's in good shape. Has its own electrical panel. Um, so it is serviceable. It's not electric, but that could be easily added with the electric panel here. And the roof, I'm not seeing anything that looks like roof damage. It is a steel, steel roof and you could replace all this. That's why I would recommend cutting all the brush around the, this thing because it's only going to get worse with the trees. You, when you have trees and, and brush really close, it can create problems eventually. All right, Pete Gustis here for our property preview of this foreclosure. 188 Totem in Lake Winona. Um, my cell, 570-640-3535, that's 570-640-3535, or my other business line, 610-209-9219. Look forward to helping you soon.